guys, we're back in the kitchen for another project, um, and this one is a continued um, part of Operation Urban Wildlife. Um, so if you have been watching my videos all along, you may recall me mentioning in an earlier video um, that our neighbors in the back had taken down a rather tall tree that used to be habitat for some of our birds, in particular woodpeckers. I had not seen woodpeckers um, in my backyard since that big tall tree was taken down. Um, however, I know they're still around, I can hear them, so I'm hoping to put something in my backyard that will maybe entice them back. Um, and what I've found online is a neat little recipe for something called bird butter, no, bark butter, sorry, I could call it bird butter too. Um, so I'm going to make some of that and we're going to come up with a neat feeder idea um, to allow them to have it. So we've got a piece of wood here from the fire uh, pile and we're going to use a spade here to drill holes, 7 eighths of an inch I think is going to be big enough, maybe we have to go smaller, into the bark at intervals and we're going to kind of drill this way down in as opposed to drilling straight in. So this is for two reasons. After we make our bark butter we're going to pack the holes that we drill with our spade and when we hang it out, which we are going to do by drilling this screw eye down into the top and then hanging it from a tree, um, we don't want all that bark butter to you know, get warm in the sun and start oozing out. We want it to have a chance for the birds to get to notice it. So that's the feeder part of it. The actual bark butter itself, um, there's a lot of different recipes online, um, but I found one that I think I'm going to modify slightly. And if I get some other birds that are coming to the backyard to try it, then that's just an added bonus. So um, let's make some bark butter. So I'm going to start with um, some dried cranberries, probably about a cup. And I'm just going to pulse them a little bit smaller. Oops. Okay. And to that, we're going to add um, a cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to add one cup of yellow cornmeal. I'm just using a third cup measure here. All right, and now our peanut butter. I'm going to use a crunchy peanut butter for this one because I know the woodpeckers in particular like nuts. And again, we're going with a cup of this. And I think before I add the next ingredient, I am just going to pulse this to combine it a little bit. Hopefully, it will come together much like a cookie dough at this point. definitely more cookie dough like. Now the ingredients that I've seen online call for lard. I didn't have lard but what I did have in my basement was some suet and that does contain lard. So I'm going to pop that in here and give it a pulse. Hopefully it's, I mean, suet is soft but it's not liquidy soft. to the consistency that we want. The other thing I have seen, some people use it, some people don't, but I'm gonna use it because mine looks a little bit dry, is just a little bit of honey. Um, apparently woodpeckers will drink nectar from flowers, so I guess it stands to reason that they would also like honey. We'll put that in there.
processor seems to have stalled. It's pretty thick stuff. So we'll take it out. You can see how the consistency changed from that very, very dry powdery to what we have now. Actually, let me just give it a squeeze and see how we're doing here. Mm, actually, I would say that's about right because this is going to fill those holes nicely and it holds together, holds its shape. Okay, and we are pretty much good to go. So the next phase is going to be drilling our holes in our little piece of wood. Let's go do it. Okay, we're back. Special guest Walter and Walter's drill. And so we're ready to put our holes in our piece of wood. So we've got one that's not too big. It's about, what would you say, four inch diameter. Mm -hmm. um, we've got our screw eye. That is going to go in the top to hold it when we hang it from the tree. Um, we want to have enough holes so that we can put lots of our bark butter in here. Um, and we want to drill kind of on the diagonal. Show them the direction we're going to, yeah, we're going to kind of go in like that so that we can pack, whoops, pack the holes with the butter. So that when it gets warm, it's not going to ooze out all over the place, or at least that's the theory, and we're going to stick to it. So um, we'll put holes on a few different sides, and then we'll be right back with you. Okay, Walter. Um, um, it. Um, would it be easier drilling if we did it? Okay, so much drilling and much, much mess later. Here is our tree, our, our log, and you can see we've drilled holes on the diagonal. There's nine in total along here that we're going to fill with our bark powder. Okay, Walter has put our hook in the top, so all we have to do now is fill it up and then hang it up and see if it's enough to entice some woodpeckers back to my yard. So I've got little mounds here of the bark butter that I'm going to press in. And I'm just using my spreader here to flatten them out. Okay, and I'm just going to fill all the holes up. This actually looks really, it smells actually really good. Um, it's very much the consistency of a dry peanut butter cookie mix. Um, except that there is bird seed already in here because of the suet. And that's the other thing I'm doing is I'm just going to take a little handful of seeds, sunflower seeds, bird seed, and I'm just going to pack it onto the outside of that bark butter. And I will be back when all the holes are filled and we are ready to hang it. Okay, here is the finished product all stuffed with our bark butter, topped off with bird seed, and ready to go. Um, I've got the rest of my bark butter in an old takeout food container, and I'm gonna keep it in the fridge so I can just replenish as the feeder comes up empty. Um, and you do wanna keep it refrigerated because of the oil products in it. You don't want it to go rancid, and that would be a big waste. So um, we're gonna use some shower hooks, I think, to hang this, one or maybe two. You can get these at just about any dollar store. They're just a nice easy way of being able to take something on and off of a tree if you're changing your feeders. I use them with all my bird feeders. All right, so let's go hang our feeder. Okay, so here is where I've decided to hang my uh, feeder with my bark butter for the woodpeckers um, in just a small tree. Um, and I did that specifically. Um, I've hung it on a branch that 
probably won't take a lot of extra weight, so I'm hoping that it will deter the squirrels by doing that, um, because I'm quite sure the squirrels would really enjoy getting into that and the chipmunks as well. Might be less effective against the chipmunks, but uh, we'll see. Um, and in relation to the rest of my backyard bird oasis, we have the hummingbird feeder and the finch feeder here, the bird bath, the pond, and over here we have our oreo feeder and then our well, squirrel feeder is empty because they pilfered it last night, so. Good morning, guys. It is just after 7 a.m. and we are on my deck and you are not going to see my face because I am wearing my pajamas, bathrobe, and I have hair that makes me look like a fraggle. However, um, when I did come out this morning to let my dogs out, sure enough, there was a woodpecker in my backyard and it was one of these guys. It was a hairy woodpecker, which looks a lot like a downy woodpecker, except that the hairy woodpecker um, is a bit bigger bird. Um, he was not at my little um, woodpecker feeder that we made last night, which is over here, okay, because there was a tree rat, or a squirrel, <laughs> call them tree rats. Um, there was a tree rat pilfering. As you can see, it looks like he's done a pretty efficient job of cleaning out the top holes of that feeder. But he was watching from a safe distance in one of the trees. Um, so I'm going to refill those holes this morning um, with some more bark butter. And I'm going to sort of sit tight and keep an eye periodically on the, um, on the feeder to see what's going on. But I am ecstatic to see that he is here because, like I said, I have not seen a woodpecker in my yard since that big, big tree. Um, was taken out. I'm also very excited to see that birds are discovering my new bird bath. I literally put this out yesterday afternoon and within five minutes there was a robin that had come down to cool off and have a drink. Um, this morning there's been a lady cardinal that's been down there. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of activity going on back here and I'm really excited um, to see that the birds are getting used to all the food sources and um, things that I've got out the back here to sort of make their lives um, and their stay this summer a little bit more comfortable. I've got some more projects coming up um, with some things for the garden, so stay tuned um, for those videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this little project and let me know if you decide to try it and if you decide to make it or change the recipe in any way. I'm going to keep an eye for a few days and we'll see if we have any woodpeckers come to visit. Hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of them for you and give you an update if we do. Thanks very much and we'll see you again soon. Bye.